talk about your maid of honor. The Monica to your Rachel. The Timberlake to your Fallon. The wine to your Olivia Pope. She has been there through everything, and you want your guests to know that this is the girl that brought you Ben and Jerry's your first breakup. And she's most likely going to be the one who you're spending the most time with on the dance floor at the reception. Here are some really cute ways you can make your maid of honor stand out. One option is to wear the longer dress version of your bridesmaid's dresses. Most salons, especially Alfred Angelo and David's Bridal, most of the dresses come in both the short length and the long length. So if all of your bridesmaids are wearing the shorter length, you can have her kind of glam it up next to you with the longer one. Another way to have her kind of glam it up next to the bride is to give her a rhinestone belt or sash. Most of the time, the ones they sell at the salon are meant to be for the bride, so they are going to be super expensive. It's really not worth it to pay $100 for a sash if you're the maid of honor. What I suggest is going online because the sequined belts are really in right now. You can find them on Nordstrom's, uh, Bloomingdale's. I found mine at Anthropology, and it's in this gorgeous peach color that goes perfectly with my bridesmaid's dress. Another really cool way is to give your maid of honor a different hairstyle or a different hair accessory. If the bride has an updo but all of the bridesmaids have their hair down, maybe your maid of honor can sport an updo as well. If the bride is wearing a feather or a flower in her hair, maybe the maid of honor can have one in a different color or maybe a little bit smaller version. This is a really cool but subtle way of just having your maid of honor stand out and showing her she's special. Now one of my all-time favorite ways for making sure that the maid of honor is noticed is by having her wear a different dress from the rest of the bridesmaids. So one way of doing this that is my favorite is having her wear a different color that's different from the rest of your bridal party. Maybe everyone else is wearing a royal purple and she's wearing a lavender or lilac. There's different ways you can play with your color scheme that she will stand out but your pictures will look gorgeous because there's more color. I'm a big fan of color, so I love this idea. I think it's so cool you can incorporate multiple colors into your scheme. I think the pictures turn out gorgeous and people will definitely notice who your maid of honor is. So there's ways you can play with the style of the dress too. By making her strapless or giving her some sort of sleeve, that neckline will have her stand out as well. Another really cool way of doing this is having her bouquet be different. I think that this might not be the best idea if your color palette is more pastel, just because the pastels will kind of start to blend together, especially for your guests that are further away from the altar or ceremony space or wherever you're getting married at. I would definitely talk with your florist if this is something you want to do. A lot of the times brides will pay for a bigger bouquet for their maid of honor, and while that's a really nice gesture, I think sometimes it just goes unnoticed, especially like I said, if you have the pastels, it just is kind of hard to see. And then you're just paying more money for something people aren't noticing in a bigger bouquet. Even if you don't utilize any of these, people will definitely know who your maid of honor is. She's going to be the one signing as a witness on your marriage certificate. She's going to be the one usually giving a speech at the reception. She's going to be standing next to you at the altar and during pictures. So people will definitely know who she is. But these are just some kind of cool ways if you want to make her stand out a little bit more. So I hope this video helped. I hope you definitely have a better understanding of how you want your maid of honor to stand out. I'm so excited to begin doing these videos again. And definitely, definitely, definitely make sure to come back next Tuesday. There will be another video up. Make sure to subscribe and you can always follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.